Now in our feedback segment tonight, we ask you, are Kenyans taking advantage of the internet freedom in the right way? Are Kenyans taking advantage of the internet freedom in the right way? Now send us your thoughts on our SMS line 20058. We'll sample them and post them on our Facebook page, WTV Kenya. Moving on, following the collapsed residential building in Huruma, the death toll has risen to four after a woman was pulled out of the rubble late Monday evening. Two women and a day-old infant were among those who lost their lives. Twenty-four others who were rescued and rushed to the Kenyatta National Hospital have been treated and discharged, while two others still remain admitted with severe injuries. The multi-agency search and rescue operations are ongoing as seven people are still reported to be missing. President Uhuru Kenyatta has called on the Nairobi City can County to conduct a comprehensive audit of residential buildings, especially in Nairobi's Eastlands area, and submit a report within three months. He also called for the arrest and prosecution of those involved in the construction of the building, which was six stories up, and the seventh floor was under construction.